everyone it's Lou Collins thank you so much for joining me on my channel today and for the craft stash summer blog hop now I'm really excited along with my team to share with you lots of items that are in the craft stash summer sale at 50% off uh, over this bank holiday weekend and also if you're a VIP at craft stash you're going to get your additional 10% off now today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely floating butterfly card. It's an acetate card, it's really simple to put together. I've used some textures floral folk art uh, collection and you'll find everything I've used plus links over to Craft Stash to the Summer Sale down below. I'd love it if you could drop me a thumbs up on this video and of course subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow along with the blog hop and see everybody's inspiration because everyone's made such a wonderful job and some beautiful beautiful projects. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my acetate, my see-through card base using a really strong acetate. So this one is a Paper Mania one. There's lots of different brands on the market. Now I'm going to do a six by six card base and acetate can be cut and scored using your Creative Craft Products trimmer. Um, it does sometimes, or it can blunt the blades, but Craft Sash do sell replacement blades for these. So it's a good idea. If you've got an old blade, maybe to use that, because of course this isn't going to feather at all. Um, so you're okay to put your old blades in and use those or have a new one on order so that you can replace it when it blunts. So uh, I've got this sitting at, if I just close my trimmer up here, I've got this sitting at six inches just there and I'm going to just use the cutting the trimmer element I've actually got myself another six by six piece here now that I can use another time because this was a 12 inch sheet of acetate so I'll pop that to the side and then I'm going to use the white blade to score my halfway mark so in the same way as you would with any other card base just uh, fold this use your bone folder and just make that crease nice and sharp pressing that down you'll find with acetate that will kind of just stay so um, that will stand beautifully so I've now got my clear base now I am going to eventually put a panel in the back here so that I've got something to write on if I want but before that I want to decorate the front now I have got a couple of elements that I'm going to use and they're going to be the uh, floral folk art floral sentiment panel so I've die cut this from white cardstock here and I've just put it onto the back of some black um, adhesive foam now the adhesive foam is available at craft stash I'll link that down below as well as everything else um, but this just gives it a little bit of a lift and just makes it pop a little bit so when you see the edges they're black um, so yeah kind of a bit of a drop shadow there then I'm also using my layering folk art butterflies from the same collection, the floral folk art collection. Again, all linked down below. But what I've done is I have already die cut and layered these up. Now I've chosen to go with six colours from the rainbow. Nice bright summery colours for you. So there we go. I've chosen the brightest ones I can find and I'm going to scatter these round in a circle. Now I'm going to do this first and then my sentiment's going to go on the top. So when I'm arranging something like this and working out which colours to put next to which, again, I think of the rainbow. So I think the closest to red would be pink. So pink, um, orange, yellow, green. I'm going to have them all facing outwards, actually, but green. And then a teal would be between the green and the blue. And then the blue would go back into pink because there would be sort of a, a purple there also. So that's the pattern that I'm going to use to put onto my card. Now I can choose here which um, colour I want at the top. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start with my moth, uh, my green moth. And to stick on to acetate, I like to use foam again. Again, lifts it up a little bit. And just gives it that sort of little bit of a pop so it looks more like it's floating now I'm going to put this onto my mat here and I'm just going to make sure that on my mat it's central to a line so I've got this white line here running centrally down my card then I know that that first moth is going to be directly in the middle then I'm also going to put this butterfly on centrally as well just putting the foam pads in the center now for each of the butterflies or moths um, I think they're all butterflies but I like to call these ones moths to differentiate um, but for each of them I've used three colors and then a black 
body. Now just making sure here that the wings are not coming down lower than the base of the card at all. And then these extra pieces are just going to have to slot in like so, so quite easily they'll fit in nicely. Um, so I've used three colours, I've used a, uh, a darker colour on most of them for the background, so the solid base. I've then used um, a nice bright colour and a paler colour for the top two layers, kind of alternating them so that I've got lots and lots of different colours, rainbow colours peeking through. So I'm going to nestle the uh, moth wing there into the middle of the butterfly wing there. I'm just going to lay that one on very, very lightly because I want to also place this one, this blue moth at the same time and make sure they all fit without sticking down too much. So it's just lightly sat there. Yeah, so that will work. So when I'm happy with the position, press everything down. I will lift all the wings up in a moment and then I'm going to stick these ones down too. So don't forget, as I mentioned at the beginning, there's a massive 50% off of all the items that we're using in this blog hop today uh, and for the bank holiday weekend. Um, regardless, you can find everything linked um, down below if you're watching this at a later date, not on the bank holiday weekend. Uh, the discounts may not be there any longer but you can still go and purchase the items and if you are a craft stash vip member you can also get an additional 10 percent off of that anyway as you probably know already uh, as regular shoppers so there we go so there i have my floating butterflies now like i say i will lift all of these wings up when i glued down the layers i only glued the bodies so i can do that a little bit now it doesn't take very long to do but it does just make this a little bit of a wow factor um, great if you're going to be gifting this in a box uh, rather than in an envelope because obviously in an envelope you might have some trouble with needing to pop it flat but alternatively you could make this into something like a piece of home decor so it doesn't have to be a card look at the difference that makes when I lift all of that up isn't that beautiful now on the center there I'm going to be putting my phrase so like I say, I've die cut this from white cardstock, um, just mat it onto the back of some black foam. So I'm just going to peel this off now. This took me a little bit of time to do because there's lots of uh, weeding as such to get out afterwards. So uh, I have already pre-done this for you. So let's just now carefully try to peel off that backing. It'd be nice if it all came off kind of in one piece. There we go, perfect. And this is where my tweezers come in really handy. Because I can just hold this just a tiny little bit, work out whereabouts that's going to sit on my card, make sure I'm happy that it's in the center. And again, adhesive foam, sticky foam, sits beautifully onto acetate with no mess. Now some of these are going to press down the wings, that's fine because we can just lift other areas up. So that doesn't matter that some of those wings need to be pressed down. There we go. Now I love that as a see-through card but obviously we are going to need a panel inside to write on, unfortunately. Um, so what I've taken is my third item from my floral folk art collection. And that's one of the gorgeous embossing folders. There's two embossing folders. My lovely DT member, Monica, in this hop, she is going to be using the other folder, so the geometric one. I'm using the bold floral one. All I've done is I've embossed that on white cardstock, nice and simply. Uh, I'm not going to do any other detail to it, but this I'm just going to trim down and I'm going to sit uh, behind here. I'm probably going to have it fill the panel, or most of it, I'm going to just trim the very edges off. Um, so you can still see that it's an acetate card from the front, um, but when it's closed, it will look reasonably white. So let's just take, I'm going to take it right to the edge here. So probably take a good centimeter off of each edge. And just a tip for you, if you know what you want to write on your card, you can either write it on the cardstock first, 
or inside and then emboss it so the writing's there or you could add a panel of plain cardstock to the back of the card there afterwards so just popping this in here now just looking at the reverse where we've obviously got the black foam pads that's not a problem for me because what I would end up doing is recutting just maybe just in white each of these silhouettes of the butterflies and adhering them over the top on the inside so that covers all of those workings so just gluing this down now I'm going to glue this one with wet glue because it's going to have plenty of time to dry uh, wet glue does dry on acetate it does just take a little longer than if you were gluing paper I use the um, craft stash or creative craft products book binding glue that's my favorite glue at the moment to use that's absolutely brilliant there we go so that will stick on there and like I say I've got time to allow that to dry as well so there we go so there is my floating butterfly acetate card window card whichever you'd like to call it um, I really really love that I love the bright colors um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial thank you so much for joining us on the craft stash summer blog hop please do uh, pop along to all the other videos there's lots of contributions lots of inspiration for you and of course take advantage of that huge 50% off on craft stash over this weekend on all the products that we're all using thank you everybody take care and I'll see you again very soon